All right, so here's the other part of my collection. Admittedly, not the biggest or coolest one in the world, but most of the figures I just really liked. It's not I'm not trying to complete any any lines or anything. It's just I like particular figures. So these are the the movie figures that I really cared anything about owning. Um, most of them from the original 2007 movie. Uh, love the Jeff Fire. In fact, he was probably the main reason I got back into to collecting since I was a little kid. Uh, is that guy right there? He's just awesome. <laughs> so cool, and especially because he does that. Uh, anyways, Jeff Fire was always one of my favorites as a as a kid. Uh, the G1. So uh, some of the alternators. Um, and on the bottom of those, I have mixed in all the mini bots that I own from G1, and there's obviously a couple of the Rebel Techs in there as well. Um, loved some of the alternators, and those are the ones that I I actually ended up buying and, and owning. I know that's not really collector style, but that's how I do it. That's how I roll. Anyways. A lot of it for me is just whether I like the, the characters or not, you know. And so, I got an animated um, pretty much a couple years after that show ended. I started watching animated. Never thought I would uh, like the show or the figures, but I was wrong on both. Um, because the show was great, I thought. And the figures were uh, really, really good. Um, just articulation, show accuracy. Uh, all that was pretty amazing with the with the animated lines. So I have most of those. Um, the only ones I don't have that I want is Blackout, and that's just he's expensive. Anyways, um, and then down at the bottom, I just kind of have a couple of random shelves uh, with some titaniums and some Scout figures. Uh, War for Cybertron. That's a real. Uh, G1 Devastator back there from when I was a little kid. I didn't really fit on my G1 shelf, so he, he rests there with all the other odd, oddball things. Um, this isn't showing up very well. Uh, and I liked a lot of the scouts from this line. Some really nice little little scout figures, a lot of them. Titanium, you know, you can take it or leave it, but again, some of the character you had to have like Soundwave and Rodimus and stuff. Again, just some odd figures that don't really go anywhere, but I liked them. I liked the, the figures themselves. Um, poor, poor lighting. So, again, just a real quick overview. I might try to sneak back around the corner and get a Another quick shot of that case over there. And this is just kind of to introduce myself as far as being a, a somewhat of a Transformer fan collector. Okay, that's not on and that looks horrible. Um, and like I said, I, I'm interested in trying to start to do some, some toy reviews. These, all these are on my, the other video I just did. A clip of um, the classics and the G1 stuff that I have, and some of the random bigger figures in my lighting. And this is all in my basement. Uh, my lighting, of course, you can't see any of that. Um, down here is a really poor. So, all in all, I mean, I've been putting these figures together really since about 2008. 2009, so it hasn't been a long time that I've been I've been doing this, but I really enjoyed it. I really like selling and buying these guys, and I guess one of my big themes. Uh, I'm just kind of resting here for a second because there's a little bit of light up there, and they're, those are cool figures. Um, one of my big things is that I know that Hasbro um, pursues a lot of you know lines that I just think are ridiculous. I uh, have no real place but I understand they're trying to market to you know little kids but things like rescue bots and uh, speed stars and 
Creo, and you can go on and on about all these things that really don't matter to me as a as an older adult collector. You know, more of the old the old stuff uh, with neat chrome and joints and just real nice, honest to goodness trans transformations that are fun um, and figures that look cool. Uh, so it's nice to see them like with the prime stuff um, kind of going going back to that and uh, they always maintain a little bit of it but you know how cool would it be to see like a new uh, shockwave figure or a new um, a new Omega Supreme an updated Omega Supreme or even like an animated Omega Supreme um, a new Trypticon would be cool uh, you know those type of things maybe we could give up 40 or 50 of these uh, uh, rescue bot figures or something for one decent, uh, you know, nice updated version of Metroplex or Maximus or uh, Omega Supreme, like I said. Um, anyway, so those are some of the things I'm going to be talking about in future updates, future videos rather. And uh, like I said, any comments are appreciated and, and welcome, especially since I'm just kind of new getting into this. Um, thank you. Uh, See you later.